Hey guys, it's Hotshoot here, and uh, I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on how to split your audio that's coming from TeamSpeak or Skype from your in-game audio. Now, for PC footage, when if you record with Fravs or DxTory or PlayClaw or any kind of recording software, you have the game audio and the TeamSpeak and Skype audio blended in into one channel. Now, that could be really, really bothering to people who have a nice gameplay, and it's ruined because someone was talking in the background or, like, yelling or saying some weird stuff or whatever. So, in uh, this example, uh, DxTory software, uh, you're able to configure it so you can separate the stream and still keep it. And so you can, like, get rid of it if you want to in the end, or just keep it if you want. And on Fraps and Playclaw, you can get rid of it. But it won't keep a channel because Fraps and Playclaw do not have the option for having multiple channel audio, as far as I'm aware. Um, they only can record the gameplay audio and your microphone at the same time. So um, I would recommend getting DxTory if you uh, are looking into doing that. Uh, having the option to separate your TeamSpeak or Skype audio uh, without getting rid of it. All right, so let's get to it. Now, uh, the software that I'm going to use is called Virtual Audio Cable. I'm going to link the how to get it in the description, their website. Um, now, first, what you have to do is uh, s click the setup. Now, the regular setup right here is for 32-bit, and setup 64 is for 64-bit. So choose accordingly to your operating system. And now you open the folder, depending if you have 64 over here or 32 over here. You open that up after installing. And you open the control panel. Now this is not default. It's all edited to uh, fit mul uh, the best settings that I can find. So pause the video. Make sure it's all like this. Make sure you set it to two cables. And you just click set. And then you can just exit it. Now, open the audio repeater. Make sure it's the underscore KS one. Don't do this one, just do the uh, the kernel one. Okay, so you open it. I have it um, pinned over here on the taskbar, so I'm gonna open it, open two of them. And now, this is what it looks like. Okay, it looks a little confusing, but just follow along. All right, wave in. So this is where the audio goes in. All right, set it to virtual cable one, and then the output, do it to virtual cable 2. If you don't have one or two right here, then you didn't configure it correctly on the, the control panel. So go back and uh, make sure it's exactly like I had it. Now, the second one, you're going to have virtual cable 2 as the input and the output to whatever device you have your audio in. So in my example, I have this Logitech, which is uh, external speakers that I use if I'm not doing gameplay, but when I'm gaming, I use my headset, which is on the HD audio speaker right here. Okay, so whatever your headset or whatever audio device you're using to listen to your gameplay or whatever it is, then set it to that. Okay, now open your playback devices uh, for your sound. Okay, so open that up. And now you have to set your playback for, with line one being your default device. And make sure that your speakers or whatever output you're having for listening to your whatever it is, then make sure it's default communication device, okay? Default communications for your speaker or whatever you're using to listen to it, and line one for your default device, okay? You leave everything the same. You apply it, and you're all good to go, okay? And now, I'm going to do TeamSpeak as an example right here, if it opens, okay? On TeamSpeak settings options and it's pretty much the same thing with Skype you look for the playback settings and the playback device it's instead of the default or speakers make sure it's line 2 okay so now it's not set on line 2 so that means TeamSpeak is running through here starting right here going through virtual cable 2 into the speakers and we just set virtual cable 1 to the game audio or whatever audio the audio on the desktop whatever through here and it goes through here and it all and then it joins virtual cable 2 because we put the output to virtual cable 2 so it goes through here as well so we hear at the end both the in-game audio and the, sp the speech from TeamSpeak or Skype but they're separate channels 
Now, right here, it depends what kind of software you have. If you have Fraps, it, uh, you can uh, just go about your day, go and record, play clause the same thing, but you cannot have the track saved. So it separates it, so you won't hear it at all. Okay, so it's going to be gone, but separate. So that if you have it and you just wanted the audio out, but you still want to speak to it, but you just want to keep the game audio on, then that's fine. This is how it goes. But if you have um, DX Tori like I do, uh, you have the option to either just fully neglect it or also keep it as a stream, as a separate channel. So you can edit it or keep it on there if it was good or delete it if you don't want to. The, the options there for DX Tori. So uh, go to the audio settings for DX Tori. And on the first audio stream, I have it to line one. So the in-game audio is on one audio stream. And the second one I have on line two, which is the Skype or TeamSpeak, whatever you're using. And the third one is my microphone. So I have recorded my in-game audio, my uh, TeamSpeak or Skype audio, and the second or the third is a microphone. So make sure you just keep it all default uh 48,000 hertz and 16 bit stereo i have it all the same i don't really think there's much of a difference even though it says sample rates 4401 i i don't know you can you can put it there if you want it doesn't really matter it's not that much of a difference from here to here so all right so now that that's set up you're all ready to go now you have to remember you won't be able to hear any audio whatsoever not from YouTube, if you want to watch a YouTube channel or the watch a YouTube video or watch any kind of video at all, it won't work because you have it set to the virtual cables and it's not running right now. So you have to start it. And now it's like anything else. It, it's everything's running and uh, you can just minimize them and uh, it doesn't clutter anything. They're going to be right here on the uh, hidden icons wherever you want and they're both here. So you have to make sure you have them running or else you won't hear anything, okay? And uh, if you have an issue uh, with the audio quality, i.e. if you hear crackling or any kind of popping or it sounds really bad or um, very digitalized, then you probably are having overflows, which are right here, the overflows. Uh, if you see this counter rising and rising or you see it going up and it doesn't go up anymore, um, to fix it, sometimes you have to just stop it and then restart it, like just click stop and then start again. Sometimes this fixes it, and if it doesn't fix it, then make sure you uh, put the parts down to five. Um, that will, that should clear it up. And uh, if it still is having a lot of overflows and it sounds really bad, then raise the buffer to a hundred for both of them. Make sure you have it for both so they're nice and even and then start it and uh, it should fix it and if not then keep raising the buffer but if you keep raising the buffer then there's going to be a delay of how many milliseconds right now so 50 milliseconds is the lowest it's not really much you don't notice it at all but once you get to the higher numbers you might notice it and it might get very uh, frustrating and it might uh, make your videos very out of sync so uh, make sure that you don't put it too high and if it still doesn't uh, fix any overflows, then it's maybe something about your drivers or your sound card is very outdated and old, so you might have to upgrade that. But for me, it, it works fine. My my audio card, or my, uh, it's not an audio card, it's from my, right on my motherboard. It's My motherboard's like two years old, so it works for me. So uh, it should work for most people. So now you start it, okay and uh, minimize it and now you just record now you open well dx open dx tory in my case uh minimize that uh open uh whatever game you want to start recording and stop recording and now i'm going to show you what it looks like if you've done it correctly on dx tory now as i said before on fraps and play claw you can't have a separate audio channel it will just not have the team speaker skype audio in your video so it won't be bothersome there we go now let's see what it looks like okay now you see we got three streams well four 
the first one is the uh, the video, second one's game audio, third one is TeamSpeak slash Skype, and then the last or the third one is uh, my microphone. So with DXTory, you can have a separate channel. You can just delete the channel if you don't want it. You can keep the channel if you want it. You can raise the audio, lower the audio. You can edit it on its own with DXTory, but play Clon uh, Fraps it will look like this. It will look like game audio, then a microphone, and it would not It would not have recorded your Skype uh, phone call or your um, TeamSpeak audio. So uh, that's pretty much it for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, uh, contact me in the comments. Send me, uh, yeah, write a comment. I'll reply to as many as I can. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped. Happy gaming.